Mr. Chairman, when it comes to the nomination of Justin Walker to the D.C. Circuit, the second highest court in the land, can we be honest for a moment here among ourselves? Can anyone here say with a straight face that this 38-year-old individual with no practical courtroom experience and a few months, a few months on the job as a district court judge in the Commonwealth of Kentucky is the best person for this job? Anybody? He's not, and we know it. Justin Walker is in line for this lifetime, appoint lifetime appointment to the second highest court in the land for two reasons. He's a family friend of Senator McConnell, and he's an outspoken critic of the Affordable Care Act. Justin Walker has made it clear that at any cost, he is willing to toe the Republican Party line in opposition to Obamacare. Before he was a judge, he called the NFIB case that upheld ACA's constitutionality, quote, an indefensible decision. And he even cracked jokes, cracked jokes about his opposition to the ACA at his investiture ceremony in March while he was still a sitting judge. These comments apparently put him on the fast track to the D.C. Circuit. It is astonishing to me that Senate Republicans have chosen to pick so many obvious opponents, not just opponents, but people who are hostile to the Affordable Care Act in the nominations they brought before this committee. John Bush, Steve Graz, James Ho, David Porter, Naomi Rao, Mark, Mark Norris, Michael Truncale, Sarah Pitlick, to name a few. Not to mention Chad Riedler, Riedler, who filed the brief for the Ju Trump Justice Department in Texas versus U.S. case that called for striking down the entire ACA, including protections for Americans with pre-existing conditions. The case is now pending before the Supreme Court. Chad Riedler was nominated to the Sixth Circuit within a day after filing the brief. We are seeing this pattern again with the Walker nomination. Even in the middle of a pandemic, the Republican Party of America is not stopping its attack on the Affordable Care Act, and yet it has never, underline never, produced a substitute or an alternative. So why were we brought back here five weeks ago with a nation that was being told to stay at home, with the District of Columbia, with orders for people not to be out and about, why did we convene the Senate, bring back 10,000 employees at risk to themselves and their families? We brought them back for this nomination. It was the first item of business. Justin Walker, former intern to Senator McConnell to go to the second highest court in the land. Mr. Chairman, I've said it before and I repeat it. There have to be among all of the people in the United States of America a conservative Republican judge with the qualifications for this court. This man is not that person, and we all know it. Make no mistake, the nomination of Justin Walker is not only a personal favor to the Republican leader, it is a direct attack on the Affordable Care Act in the midst of a public health crisis in America. I oppose this nomination.